hey my name is vishal in this video tutorial let's see uh, how to build a staircase model which will allow us to you know build uh, to know uh, some techniques and tools in blender software especially uh, you can know about array tool and also you have a, a, a freeze transformation alternative in blender so all that we'll just check it out here so right now what I've got is a simple uh, uh, scene, a uh, default scene. Uh, I can switch off the light visibility and the camera visibility to avoid you know, uh, uh, some uh, disturbances in the viewport. So I just select the model here and I will delete this cube. And now what I will do is I'll just select uh, and create a model here which is uh, going to be a cylinder. Okay so uh, instead of you know affecting it uh, this way uh, what I will do is I'll just uh, go to the side view here and uh, hit tab on the keyboard select all the vertices in the wireframe mode and then you just move it by hitting the snap button and then you could see I could generally snap it like that and also I can just uh, move it as I want but uh, right now it's not required so I just uh, switch back to the object mode and then uh, enable the shading mode as well now what I do is I just select the scale tool or press N so that I can expand here and then I increase the Z scale like that so I just uh, come here, I, in, I enter the value of 2, you could see it's touching the 2 here. So I can just uh, preferably keep um, this to 10. Okay, uh, it's okay if anything, uh, it's not, I mean the radius and height are not uh, correct, but it's, let's leave that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another model which is uh, a cube. So I'm going to press shift A on the keyboard and then cube and then I got this. Okay. So I press 1 so that I can go to the side view. So the front view. Then I just move uh, this stair uh, step to the side and then I hit tab and then select the vertices and then move that by enabling this snap button and then roughly bring it till there so what you get is um, this one okay so if anything is not correct it's okay uh, we can uh, fix things later also so I'll go to the object mode again. So I got this model. So I just uh, select this object, right click on the model, and then snap cursor to world origin. Sorry. Set origin to the 3d cursor I'll just put it that way so that objects um, you know pivot point will go to the center but however if I just see uh, the object has got a zero transformations here because I have not modified its uh, position in the other way let's say um, I select and create a cube and I move it and then scale it and then what happens here is um, you get the values changed so in that case uh, what you need to do is you need to go to the object apply and then choose this option called all transformations and that will generally reset the values so if you are doing in the component mode modifying the components or in the edit mode if you basically do the values doesn't change so any way is okay right now 
so once i got this um what i'm going to do is okay let's go here and then enable the wireframe mode so that you could see the wireframe as well now what we will do is um we will go to this particular area which is modifier properties you could see a spanner icon there then go there and then choose array but make sure that you have selected the cube and then go here and then choose array so you have a relative offset constant offset and object offset a relative offset will uh, basically offset um, let's say if i put a value of uh, two units there so it is uh, keeping a two units distance from the bounding box there and i can add more number of objects uh, in blender you don't have the uh, array doesn't have the rotation values and that makes the job a bit more complicated however i just go back and explain how to handle this um, situation okay let's uh, go to the constant again let's choose two units here what happens here is it will generally from this point the next point will be in the two units so it's, it doesn't really consider uh, the bounding box there uh, object is basically you are using a transform node and uh, when you move the transform node the position will get altered so you can create any object or uh, any object which is basically a geometry or if you feel that it will affect things in rendering you can choose um, uh, this node called plane axis now what this is is uh, it's like a locator model it's a simple cross here uh, which you have created in the uh, center it's in the origin okay let's leave it like that and uh, its name is empty let's put this as a step underscore um, locator I'll just name that way and now select your model go to this uh, object click and then find out step locator and then put uh, maybe a 20 of this copies now what you need to do is select that step locator and just move it okay so as it is in the snap mode it uh, directly jumped to the next unit there and it it is precisely helping me uh, to build a correct model there if not um, I if I off that I'll just I have to manually do that okay so maybe let's enable that and then move it and uh, what you see here is uh, the staircase but uh, the the steps are one on the top but i need to twist them so keeping that locator on i just select the rotation tool and then rotate it okay i just roughly locate uh, rotate that way okay or maybe I can rotate further more uh, I'll put a 25 degree rotation now um, what I have to do is I need to select the model there hit tab select the edge and then move that edge like that I will switch off the snap button there and then just put that like that so you got that nice staircase which is uh, uh, bound around this now I select the cylinder hit tab I have to enable this and then enable the snap and then move it to the staircase there cool um, now what we will do is we will uh, 
create a cylinder okay shift a and then create a cylinder i'm going to hit tab just a minute i'll undo it um i'll undo i'll just switch to the object mode then create a cylinder uh, earlier i was in the edit mode so that was something i need to fix so i hit tab select the vertices and the x-ray mode move them like that i'll switch off the snap button and then scale tool like that and then scale it then move that I'm just seeing um, how is this in the side view and then scale it okay now what we'll do is we select the vertices and then enable the snap button and then move it so that it will be precisely on the floor okay switch off the x-ray mode then hit back to the now let's see if uh, the existing locator works if not i need to so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose the array and then switch off the relative offset and then choose step locator and then if you remember we have uh, 20 so i'm going to select this hit 20 and i get the same transformations for that i can switch off the wireframe mode and then just see how this is really working at any time i can select the model hit tab select all the vertices and then you can uh, control the height then switch back to the object mode and uh, switch off the x-ray mode cool so far so good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select and create the hand rest so uh, what i will do is i will uh, press shift a then create a circle okay again i'm not going to touch uh, this in the object mode I'll preferably choose the edit mode there hit tab select all the vertices and then maybe I can avoid using okay I'm going to choose the rotation tool and then snap um, a rotation increment on and then rotate it and this will give me precisely 90 degrees and then I'm going to scale this like that Uh, let's choose the move tool you can select hit tab select this object enable x-ray mode and uh, hit tab and then uh, I'll enable absolute grid there and then snap it to the grid and then hit tab select the curve hit tab select them just a minute
again um, if you see uh, I'm facing a problem I'm deleting the curve and then creating it again and uh, the reason is I have created it in the edit mode so I just uh, select that move it move it move it rotation tool I need to check whether I'm rotating it 90 degrees or not and then scaling it I'm selecting all the vertices and I'm just scaling it like that move there like this okay cool so I switch back to the object mode so I got this curve again I can hit tab select all scale tool scale if needed so I got this curve then I go to the add modifier and then choose the screw and then I will uh, increase the screw height like that and choose the rotation angle I'm increasing the iteration and uh, the problem with this is uh, this iteration will take one three sixty degree there so I'll put it to 2 only you could see that we don't have a float entering so 2 times it's going to take so I, I should um, control this and then I'm increasing the subdivisions which can really help me I'm going to select the staircase and uh, increase that to 30 and then this one to 30 okay or maybe I can choose one less which is uh, going to be 29 and 29 and then select this and uh, rotate it okay and that should give me a beautiful staircase you can enable the wireframe and then you could see the overall model there